What's good? It's Postman, liveoffbeats.com. This is a very special video, so you want to pay close attention because I'm about to show you how to get to that 5K a month, 10K a month, even 20K plus a month selling at Beats Online. Now, it may seem impossible, especially if you've been struggling to do it for so long, um, but it was a producer uh, who just made 500K last year. And he posted it on his Facebook. You know, he called me the legend. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Legion Beats. Shout him out. You know, I told him he's an inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Make it half a million. You know, got two studios living the dream. And started it, you know, in 2014. And he said he doubled his money, his their revenue every year. So you could do the same thing. See, if one producer could do it, he's not the only one. It's been I got multiple clients who's up there and those type of numbers from 300,000 a year last year to up towards of a quarter of, of half a million and even a couple of producers who who cracked a quarter of a million last year um in beat sales. And so like if you're not anywhere near that, then it seems like unfathomable. Like your the thought in your mind is like, "Yeah, right, man. Like come on. Is it that much money?" Like, come on, who's really doing that? You know, but that's a that's a that's a common thought because you if you're not doing it, it's hard to believe and you're not getting those results and you've been trying and you've been struggling. It's like how is how could a producer really are they really making that? Then you start to question the marketplace, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you if you know anything about market research, you could see that that money is there. It's crazy. The amount all you do is look at the type of YouTube views out there, look how many people is buying on the internet. Airbit used to post their numbers of how many beats have been sold. Uh, they both was in the millions when they uh, them and Beatstar used to uh, make those numbers public on the front page of their site. You know what I'm saying? They kind of took that off, but you know it was millions. I was we were tracking it. You know what I'm saying? Um, every month to see how much it was going up, and it was and it's it's last year producers uh, in terms of beat sales. I mean it was tens of millions of dollars made in terms of beat sales on the internet last year. And I watched it grow from the beginning, right? Because I started. I had the first ever beat site that ever was made in 2006. And it's, it's it's on record. It's on file at archive.org. You know what I'm saying? I invented the beat site. So I watched the shit grow from where it was to now millions of dollars is being made every year. And it's only going to get bigger, right? There's no industry that's shrinking because of the internet. It's getting worldwide, more and more people around the world. Right now, we got a promotion right now that's going to the United Kingdom that's crushing out in England. we crushing England right now. And in this particular promotion, wasn't doing well in the States. You know, it's fake, uh, Facebook advertising. It's a, uh, We're doing Instagram ads. It wasn't, it wasn't doing well in the States. But in, in, in England right now, it's crushing it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's other markets opening up and, and different markets are receptive. You know, they, 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 some of them are brand new to the game. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the whole thing. Some is brand new to the game. So, so you know, they're they more susceptible to a lot of the market than, than you know, sometime in the States. But it's still good money in the States. Don't get me wrong. That's where most of it is made. But it's a lot of opportunity opening up. And if you're not taking advantage of that, I mean, it's really because you don't know what the hell you're doing. So it's already... You know what I'm saying? Uh, beginning of the year, but we already a couple months into 2019. So if you're not making a type of money that if you have it multiplied from what you was doing last year around this time, if you're not making at least three, four times that, then you know you're doing the same shit over and over again. And you ain't going no goddamn where. <laughs> I don't understand why producers like it's the funniest shit to me. Like you won't get no damn help. You won't invest no money in in, in, in mentorship. You know what I'm saying? Have somebody help you. But then you look and you say, well, damn, I'm doing the same shit. Got the same results that I had last year at the same time. So you ain't going no motherfucking where. You know what I'm saying? And next year, you're going to be in the same predicament. Thinking that in the future, something is going to happen for you. It don't work like that. See, I, I know what your problem is. You don't have a blueprint. You don't have an execution game plan. I've been consulting with producers all year. I made my point to say, you know what, I'm going to get back to the streets. Because, you know, we sell hella products. I don't have to touch, you know, I don't have to talk to a producer physically nothing but i say no i don't want to get too detached from the streets you know from what's going on with you guys personally so i said okay i'm gonna take on personal consulting clients i haven't done that in probably about six seven years with producers right personal consulting clients so i've been doing that talking to a lot of, it's been a lot of work because you know it's physical so I'm, I'm limited but i've been i've been getting to them and then helping producers and creating their blueprint i'm seeing the problems like oh most of the producers that i'm working with that are having that are struggling is that they don't have they, they they don't have a cohesive plan or blueprint and execution plan to know exactly how to build what they're building. So let me give you an example to help you understand to identify this could be your problem. Okay, so let me help you help you identify that. So you know, let's say you're building a building, right? So you got you you watching this, you're probably in some type of building or you could see a building, right? So imagine when they built that building, it, it was nothing there, it was just empty space, right? 
somebody had a thought, hey, let's put a building here, whether it's an apartment complex, uh, a commercial real estate, whatever. Now, in order to build that building, they didn't just start, go start taking bricks and saying, okay, let me just start piling bricks on top of each other. And then one day in the future, it's going to end up being this motherfucking building, right? That, that'd that be ignorant. But but then you you we got producers trying to build a, a, a business, a music production business that's going to be successful the same way. What I mean by that, you just doing shit. Let me upload some beats here. Let me hit, reach out a couple people here. Let me put out a couple ads over here. You're just throwing bricks on shit, and it ain't cohesive. There's no blueprint. What's the first thing they do when they build a house? They say, okay, give me an architect, right? He don't just go start. If, if I'm like, okay, I want to build a successful house, go get me the architect. And you can look at him as a mentor because the architect going to say, okay, here's what it's going to look like. Boom, right? Draw up the blueprint. So then now there's a blueprint. Here's what it looks like in the end. Here's the blueprint, right? And here's the way you execute each stage of things to get to that end result. So if you build a music production business, say, I want a music production business that makes half a million dollars a year, right? That sells beats on half a million dollars. So if you just doing random shit now consistently and, oh, I'm going to try this over here. I'm going to do the little of this. And you don't have a blueprint of what it should look like in the end. What does is, what is a half a million dollar music production business look like? Right. And then what are the steps you have to take to get there? The consistent steps that you take day in and day out, week in and week out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have that, you're not going nowhere. And that's what, what they don't teach us in these schools. People go to school, come out, don't know a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? High school, college, all this shit. Like, like you're not going nowhere if you don't have a blueprint to where you're going. And there's also metaphysical things that that deal with that. You know what I'm saying? In terms of having a complete picture of what it looks like and then the steps to get there. It's a it's that's manifesting it into reality. That's the stage one into an actual blueprint. You're taking what was in uh, uh, in your mind and turn that into a physical document. Right. And then from that physical document, then the physical manifestation of it then manifests itself. So it's two stages to that. Now, I want to get too deep because, you know, a lot of producers ain't up on that type of shit. But I didn't spent three months in the forest meditating with monks. I'm on some I'm on some whole other shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like the type of stuff I'm on and what type of time a lot of other cats is on is different. I'm, I integrate the whole thing. All this work together. You expressing your dreams. See, you got to live your dreams. See, this is a different day and age, man. This ain't the old stone age, industrial age, where you're going to just motherfucking go work at a factory for the rest of your life and get a retirement. That's done. Now the age is, is the age of the prophet. Now, prophet, not, not prophet like Jesus was a prophet or Buddha was a prophet. I'm talking about P-R-O-F-I-T. That means your money is going to have to come from selling something. And what better thing to sell than the thing that you are gifted at making and there's an infinite amount that you can make. You can make an infinite amount of beats. You always can make new music. So you got an infinite. That's your profit center. See, I don't want to get too deep because I don't want to go over your head, but that's your profit center. So you're going you're gonna to be able to make your money and wealth creating what the gift, using the gift God gave you to create. You see, but you ain't doing that. You're going to go work at motherfucking Wendy's or, or Target. I was working at a Target warehouse struggling, struggling, not realizing that it was me not tapping into my true potential of what I'm here to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the whole thing is. But but you have to be taught. See, before I was struggling until I met my mentor, Jermaine, who was a multimillionaire on the Internet because he had already he and he listened. Listen to me good. Now, his God given gift was the piano. He took the he took what his God given gift was, created a business around it and made millions of dollars. Man, in fact, me and him going to Egypt uh this summer on a on a vacation man we're taking the fam two two weeks out in egypt man an egypt tour we're gonna see the pyramids and all that good stuff man you know what i'm saying it's, it's life real man i ain't got a nine to five man i do what i want to do man you do what you can do not because you have to because you choose to you understand what i'm saying you choosing not to get the information that, that you know what i'm saying is going to help you get to the next level so what is it that you're missing? I told you how to get to how do you get to 5k a month well you got to have consistent action you need you got to have your youtube game got to be right and there's some secrets to YouTube right now that YouTube been changed, man. I'm telling you, I got some stuff right now that gets you ranked the same day, man. Killing everybody for competitive keywords, Drake type beats, all that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get your Instagram game right. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to really get on their network, get some big fish. You got, got producers behind the scenes that you don't know, but I know this because I know them. You know, getting half, a, getting a quarter of a, a million dollar deals, not half a million, excuse me, a quarter of a million dollar deals off of, off of hitting some cats up on Instagram. Exclusive rights contracts for 100 beats, quarter million dollars, shit like that. You don't even know exists because you are uh, you only in your own world. And you instead of stepping out, making the investment, 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, it was funny because I looked, I said, man, you know what? If I was a producer starting out, I would love, I, I would spend any amount of money to work with a cat like Postman. You know what I'm saying? Here's a motherfucker that st- and pioneered the whole industry. All the top guys that you talk about refer to Postman as a legend. They learn from him. And he don't never work with people personally. But if, if that opportunity came up, man, I mean, it's just crazy to me, man, how someone would pass that up over some money. You know what I'm saying? But that's because you don't understand. See these books I got right here? That's for a reason. Because a lot of you, you know, you don't understand how the power of the mind and what money is about. So when you say, man, I can't afford that, man. I'm struggling. Motherfucker, you've been struggling your whole life. You ain't noticed that? You ain't never had no motherfucking money then. If you ain't got money now, you ain't never had it. Why is that? Because you don't understand the laws. See your word, man. A lot of y'all work. You afraid to spend, invest, not even spend, it's invest. You know what I'm saying? You, this is how you supposed to speak. Every time I invest, I make that back multiply. Any amount I invest, I make back multiply. So the moment I'm about to invest some money in something, whether it be mentorship or a course, that's the first thing I tell myself. And guess what? I I I I, uh, I talked to a producer who's a client of mine. He invested. He's like, man, beat sales is coming out of nowhere. When we talked on the phone, when we had our first call. He was like, yo, you know, not, not excuse me, not our first. We had our second call. We had our first call. Then on the second call, he's like, yo, man, beat sales has been coming out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Before I even start, I was like, I know that because the power of your mind is if you on a certain wavelength, a certain energy, you're gonna attract that energy. So if you invest in or you get even it's two things you can do that's going to multiply your money out of thin air. It's going to be invest and give. I mean, come on. How you don't know this? You give. So like if, if you if you give to your church or charity or whatever the case may be, just give it away. It's going to the energy going to come back. Multiply when you invest. The energy comes back. Multiply. We invest with the right mind. though. see if you invest of things and you like uh, uh, it's risky or you had that risky energy or I might lose energy or is it worth the energy? Then you're going to lose. Because that's your energy. I mean, this shit ain't rocket science, man. They don't teach you this in school, man. So they, they have us going around circles for damn near 60 years old. Still going around in motherfucking circles, man. It's the saddest thing i ever seen, man. You know what I'm saying? I got producers that's 50 years old just now trying to get this shit going, man. But I tell them better late than never. You know what I'm saying? But it's just because that they've been motherfucking trained wrong. But you know what? I really got compassion. You know what I'm saying? For people that's older. That never was taught these lessons, man, and now trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But if you young, if you in your 20s, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be, if, with this type of knowledge, if, if, I, if I gave you the blueprint and really gave you more game also. You know, when I work with my clients, I ain't just giving you business game. I'm giving you real motherfucking game. You know what I'm saying? Do you know anybody that has slept in the forest with monks for three months? And meditated, you know what I'm saying? Got some on some whole other. Anybody you know read 300 books from metaphysics to bit. I mean, so it ain't even just that type of game. I put you on a program that'll change your life around. You understand what I'm saying? Like on some way next level stuff. But ultimately, the point though is the blueprints. You know what I'm saying? To sell these beats. But just the energy of talking to me, man, change your life. You understand? You got anybody that you know in, around your circle? That got the mindset of a postman and done what postman and did? Of course not. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I be telling you, you got to make sure that if you get an opportunity, do you understand? If you get an opportunity to get help, then get help because you don't know everything. I got help. See, postman ain't sitting here. See, you know what's interesting when you look at society, man, in the past, you know, like let's say if you want to be a blacksmith, right? You want to own a blacksmith shop. You know, you would you would take your classes, you would do all that, but at the end of the day, man, you had to get a mentor. You know, you had to serve an apprenticeship. You had to have somebody show you the game. They didn't just say, all right, man, you read a couple of blacksmith books, now go be a blacksmith, man. You know what I'm saying? And so that's how throughout history, that's how the crafts, do you understand, were developed. But now you got people that think they're gonna just wake up, read a book, man, take a course, and like, all right, I don't need no more help, man. I don't gotta invest no more money in my knowledge. Like, what? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'd already been making beats since 2004 when I met Battle Cat. Man, I was in his studio. Man, we, man, I was soaking up so much game. I already been producing for six years. You know what I'm saying? Already been, been producing six, seven years. Still humbled myself and was in there, man, learning from a master because I knew what mentorship was about. Like, okay, it's the next level of stuff. So he was, man, being in there getting mentored by Battle Cat in terms of making the beats was, man, it was, listen, it, it there's nothing 
that I could have did on my own. Well, I could have watched a million how to make beats YouTube videos. I could have done all that stuff. There is nothing that would have propelled me as high and as fast as me being in that studio with Battle Cat. Nothing. Now, if you've never experienced being in there with a master or talking to, then you, you don't understand. That's why you where you the fuck where you at, because you don't get it. You understand? Now, my mentor, if in terms of marketing online and business online, if I never met him, I, I mean, I don't know where I would be, right? I don't know where I would be. I wouldn't be here, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have lived a life that I've been able to live and had a job since I was 19 years old, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to do that, traveling and having, man, I mean, my neighbor is, is major, or, I mean, you don't even know, you don't even get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Trippy Red, man, that's my neighbor, I see him all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Artists that y'all motherfuckers look at, those are my neighbors, you know what I'm saying? But I get to live like that, I was a kid from South Central that worked at a Target warehouse, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't because of just me being so smart, I wasn't smart, I never went to college. I never, I mean, I was, I was not supposed to win. Now you look at me, say, postman, you brilliant, but that's only because I'm in my energy. I'm in my zone now, but back then, man, I graduated 1.8. I went to adult school to graduate high school to get my diploma. I never went to college. I worked at menial jobs. I'm talking about labor jobs from stacking shelves. I worked at as a grocery, uh, what do you call that? A grocery bagger. I was bagging groceries. Then I went to Pepsi and I was stacking shelves of Pepsi on the shelf. And I went to Target Warehouse and I was stacking boxes for, for 10 hours a day in the trucks. This is what I, this is, I'm telling you where I came from. Like, that, that's, that's it. it was, that was the end of the road for me, man. It wasn't no, hey, man, you going to, I couldn't get no job nowhere with a 1.8 GPA and no, no college degree. It was, that was it. That's where I was supposed to end up. But I had this gift and this passion for music. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, are you understanding? Like, are you getting what I'm trying to get across to you? That was the end of the road for me. You understand in terms of this economy and what this world had to offer somebody in my position. But I had a vision. You understand? I had a gift and a passion. See, that's what they don't talk about. They talk about schooling and all that shit. Your parents talk about all that shit. Let's go to school, education and jobs and, and all that stuff. But the one thing that mattered to, to me was I had a passion. I had a gift. And I had a drive. And then on top of that, I was open to learning. Like I had, I had a hunger. Like, okay, how do I do this? I was out in the water by myself not knowing. And that's when I met my mentor, Jermaine, who helped me get to that next level. Because I didn't know how to put it all together. I was a producer online. But how do I get customers? How do I get people to buy it? How do I do all that? You know what I'm saying? And how do I do it in a predictable and consistent way to where I'm making money every single month? Not a couple of dollars here and a couple of dollars there. You know, then he, he taught me how to create the blueprint. He gave me a blueprint. You understand? But even just talking to him was elevating my mind. So I'm like, damn, I never realized that. I wasn't, I never talked to nobody in that type of position before. I was just talking to my homeboys who were, who were lateral, who were horizontal with me, not nobody vertical. You understand? Who could take a bird's eye view of my condition and what I was doing and say, do this, this, and this. Then the second mentor that I had was Battle Cat, you know, in terms of making my music, man. Learn how to really hone the craft of music. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so... The one thing that I did that I feel like, you know, when I look back at my life, why I made it so successfully was the fact that I took advantage of those opportunities. And I was humble enough to if, if the opportunity came up, I, I was on it. I didn't make excuses. You know what I'm saying? I, I found a way to get it done, you know, because I knew that knowledge was my key. That's what I was missing. But somebody who actually knew what the fuck they was talking about. Right. Like it couldn't just be knowledge like. Asking my homeboy, well, how I do this or going on YouTube or Google. And, and back then, it wasn't even no Google to, to no YouTube and all that shit to search on. I pioneered it. So I'm the first one to put the game out there anyway. So it was, it, before me, I really didn't have nobody to look to in terms of selling beats online and music production business and stuff like that. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of you know, it, since the explosion, a lot of producers are copying each other, not really understanding a business game behind, you know, what's going on. How you could really build a successful company in this game. And you can do it and you must do it. Otherwise, where are you going to be in 30, 40 years? You're going to be coming back like, man, I'm 60 years old. And now I got to do this because, you know, I, I never really went nowhere and like that because I wasn't passionate about nothing. But this, this is what you're passionate about. But you're going over here doing something else. And you're going to understand you're going to suffer, man. You're going to suffer. And I promise you that you're going to suffer and struggle the rest of your motherfucking life until you get back on your path. That's the way it, that's the way it works now, man. I, I didn't make the rules. You understand? I'm just telling you what's what's happening. That's my job. 
is to tell you and to give you the the game like yo you got everything you need inside of you right now you got a motherfucking laptop you got a little midi keyboard some of y'all ain't even making on a keyboard they making on a little keypad this shit some some producers man i got clients Mind clicking shit in there. I don't know how you but making nasty beats. I'm like, how you click in chord progressions, man? I'm talking about like note by note. Nasty though and fast with it. You understand what I'm saying? So the tools is already there. You know what I'm saying? It's just are you utilizing them the right way? You got the internet, you got YouTube, you got Instagram, you got advertising, you got all this stuff already in front of you. All you need is a laptop, but you gotta have the knowledge to know how to put it together, man. And you don't want to spend years and years trial and error. You know, so that's why. You, t- you get somebody like me to just say, man, look, man, do one, two, three, and four. Here's the blueprint. Do this. You understand? And then that's how you get to that next level, man. Fast. So if you're looking back and go back to your January, go back to your January, February, March sales of last year. And if you ain't two, three, four times more than that now, you know you ain't going nowhere. I don't understand why we can't figure this out, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep because you're in a pattern, a habit pattern of doing the same things. And those same things lead to the same results. Why you don't know this, man? Why why am I why you don't know this? Is if you knew it, why if you knew better, you'd do better. That's why I'm telling you, man. So hopefully you do better. Because it's a sad situation, man, what these schools and left us with. They left us out in the cold. But postman is here bringing you the knowledge, man, game, the game. Knowledge wisdom and understanding. You got a gift. You're a music producer. That's your gift. Some people gift is cooking. They need to be out making some cooking shit. Some people gift is just straight up business. They need to be out creating businesses and and, and 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 bringing people together and being bosses. You know what I'm saying? Like Dame Dash, his his gift is business. You got some people gift like Ryan Coogler who who, who directed Black Panthers for film. He he making millions and millions of dollars. He he Ryan Coogler he got a his gift as path. And imagine if he was like, man, fuck this directing shit. I'm gonna go. You know what? Fuck the universe. Fuck my gifts, man. I'm gonna go. Work at motherfucking Walmart, man. And then struggling the rest of his life because he ain't walk his path, man. Come on. That's what I'm saying. You, it, What I'm showing you is that it's right there. Just look at the people you look up to. They walk in their path, man. And that's what we not taught. We not taught path. Because, listen, it's, it, I don't just blame the education system for what it is. It's because at one time it was an industrial age. So this is an industrial age education. Right. That's the educational system is an industrial age education. We need you to be a robot because we need production in these factories, these mass production. So we need y'all not to be big thinkers and dreamers and it's independent and creating the materials. So we needed that era. It's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing because now look at all the stuff that's mass produced now by machines. I wouldn't be sitting here without the industrial age where I couldn't be broadcasting to you without factories from the past. But that shit is dead, man. You understand? That's what you got to get. Like, that this, that shit out your head. You ain't never going to be successful doing all that if this is your path. And if this ain't your path, then you just watching me for entertainment purposes. That's cool. He, he, ha, ha. I'm entertaining, man. I'm funny guy. But if you if this is your path, then you got to walk that path. And you know it in your heart. Like, I don't have to tell you. Like, you would know if it's your path just by you feel it. You're like, yo, he's talking to me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't feel that in your spirit, then it ain't for you. Motherfucker, I'm an entertainer. I'm entertaining you. You know, I may watch, you know, Skip and Shannon on ESPN. You know, I'm not an athlete, but, you know, it's entertaining shit. So I watch it. So I'm an entertaining guy. But if it's in your spirit, then you got to take action on it and take heed to what I'm saying. Because I know what I'm talking about. There's nobody who's worked with more producers on this planet than Postman. Okay? Believe that. There's nobody on this planet who has worked with more producers and on a path, not just how to make beats. I'm talking about how to make a career out of it. There's no nobody on this planet. If, if it is, show me. LiveOutBeats.com was started in 2007. I started selling beats online in 2004. Successfully in 2006. Talk to me. Now, you show me your credentials before that, then I can believe you, man. A lot of you was 10 years old when I was getting this shit going, man. So, I don't want to hear that shit. You understand? I watched it grow and progress. And I watched the guys that I teach come up and become one of some of the best. And that's what it's about. You know, I want them to become big. I want you to become the biggest to ever do it. What well, first thing I tell my clients is your goal is to become the number one seller of beats on the internet ever. See, that's what you need to be thinking about. That's the goal for this. You, my client, you not your goal ain't for you to make just a little bit of money. That's the initial right, the initial target. Like, hey man, five k a month that'll get me stabilized. But the vision, the overall goal is we want you to be the number one selling producer on the internet. Period. 
See, now when I first say that, you might be like, man, that's not possible. Is it possible? Of course it's possible. If anybody could do it, you could do it. If you got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding on how to do it. Now, if you don't, right, what's going to happen? You're going to keep throwing bricks, and it's not correlating to the success that you hoped that it would. And it ain't your fault. Like, I'm not blaming you. You just was taught wrong. You know, postman was taught wrong. You understand? I was taught wrong. But my parents, they taught me wrong. You understand? I love my parents. They taught me wrong. My, the education system taught me wrong. Because my parents just taught me what they was taught from the education system. You understand? I know it's a whole new world. But I was, I'm here to usher in that new world. See, that's what, what I've been tasked to do. Usher in the new world. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to get too deep because y'all not ready for that. You ain't, you ain't there yet. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you don't, don't worry about it, though. You just worry about getting your beats, getting your music out there, and blessing the entire world because this ain't local no more. You bless the world. You can bless the world, man. You touching lives all over the world with your music, man. That's what I'm talking about. You don't even understand what the hell is going on right now, man. You don't know how blessed you are. You can touch the world. You know, back in the day, man, the 70s, man, you had to go through labels. You had to go through red tape. You couldn't touch the world with your music, man. You couldn't even barely touch locally with your music. Now you can touch the world at the press of a button, man, for damn near for free, man. What's your excuse now, man? Touch the God, God gave you the gift to touch the world, man. What's your gift, man? What, what, what you waiting on, man? I know what you waiting on, man. You waiting on something to happen. You waiting on the sky to open up. You thinking something going to happen in the future, man. You're going to run into it in the future, man. Like, no, there ain't no future, bro. It's the present. What you do today determines your tomorrow. You was taught wrong. You understand? That's all it is. You was taught wrong. You see? Because how come you don't understand this? You should already be 10 times further ahead than you than you are now because it's accelerated growth with the times, man. The planetary shifts, man. You don't know what's going on out here, man. You still worried about going and punching in your fucking clock at a 9 to 5? Come on, man. And if you're selling beats, man, you should be selling 10 times more this year, man. You should sell 10 times what you sold last year, man. If you can't think that big, well, that tell you right there. If you don't know how to do it, that's show you right there. You need some help, man. So how that post, man, man. Listen, I got two slots that opened up. I just finished up with two clients. They about to go on and become some of the top producers. They, they dope. You know what I'm saying? They got the blueprints. I went in, looked at their business, looked at everything they was doing. Fire. You understand what I'm saying? They got the game and knowledge with them understanding. They got the blueprint exactly one, two step, this step, that. See, when I come in, at, when I come in as your consultant, as your mentor, I come into a thorough investigation. Man, I go in and look at everything that you're doing, everything you got online, all the numbers. I look at everything and create a blueprint that's right for you, that fits you. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this is your blueprint. This is your. Cause see, one of my gifts is not, man. You don't even understand the level and depth at which I'm talking about, right? You think it's about a motherfucking ad or a YouTube ad? Man, I can look at exactly who you are, man, talk to you and know your future, man, and know exactly what your brand supposed to be, everything, man. All right, man, look at all the people I raised up, man. Just open your eyes, man. They all the top guys, man. They all be like, yo, uh, it was Postman that did it for me, man. The people you looking up to now, like, yo, they huge in the internet space. They on video saying it's, it was post, man. I learned from him, man. How, why you think that is, man? So I, I, I create kings, man. I create the top of the top, man. I, so if that's what you, if that's what you desire to be, then I want you to fill up those two slots. One, one of those two slots. Again, because I'm taking my personal time. I, I can't personally. I can't work with a thousand producers personally. Now my products, you can go buy the products. That's fine. You know, I can I can do that because it, with the products, I don't have to physically get my time. This one, I'm physically helping person to person and really talking myself, not with my assistants. None of that shit. It's my personal time and energy helping you get to that next level. So I value my time. So if you don't want to be like a top player in this music production game, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't need to worry about getting mentorship from me. Just go get a course and, you know, put a couple beats online and do your thing, man. Market a little bit. You know, if that's what you're happy with, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But you don't need postman's mentorship. If you want to join me and want me to personally help you, you got to want to have a desire to be big, man, to really get out of your situation and be, get to that next level where it's about you having this music production empire that spans the world, man, blessing the world, man, that may live longer than you do, man. I mean, it's a powerful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But again, if you want mentorship from me, I got two slots. You may it may be filled up. So if it says filled already, because like I said, I just cycled out two producers who completed. We 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 did a program that completed it. So I got two that opened up. 
The other ones are still filled up. Uh, I'm still working with those producers. So I got two that finished. And so uh, if you want to join, I put the link down there. Um, it's first come, first serve. And I don't know when they open back up. Back up. So this one opened up, uh, was it January? Last, yeah, yeah, maybe early January. And it closed up. And we just now got two more slots now. And again, it may be three or four months before it opens up again. Or I may not, I don't know, I may not do it again. Because it's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of work because I'm thorough with what I do. So I make sure you're going to get to that next level. So it's, it's a lot of work on my part. And, I'm, and, and you know, I'm not sure if I want to keep doing it. It's not much, you know, in terms of, of income for me. Because, you know, it, it, as far as a producer, you know, you don't have much. I can't, you know, get charge my full rate like I do for companies, right? So online companies would have to pay me 5000 up front to even walk in the door, right? And then from there, it's a monthly retainer of anywhere between thirty five to 5000 depending on, you know, how much, you know, they need to talk. So... And that's bi-weekly calls. So that's my rate for businesses. So for producers, I mean, my rate, you know, I'm already cutting into my time, but this is part of my 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 destiny, my gift, my passion. So, you know, I help people. It's, it, I don't want it's not charity, obviously, because you're paying and you're somebody that you don't need charity. But at the same time, it's me giving, you know what I'm saying, of myself, even though and I know it's going to come back bigger because I'm giving way more. What I'm giving you way more than what you're paying me. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be worth way more to you. So I'm not worried about it because I know how the universe works, that it's going to come back multiplied in other ways. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a steal, though. You know what I'm saying? It's a steal. So, again, if if the link is there, you can and I'll put exactly what you get. You're going to get two calls with me. You get a full blueprint. I'm going to create you a full blueprint. You're going to have, man, documents. You're going to have laid out exactly how to, do, you know, action plan. You're going to have tracking sheets, Excel sheets, how to track everything. You're going to know exactly what to do. I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to show you how to kill YouTube, rank YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to get to that next level. You understand? And it also is some bonuses you'll get too. Um, you get lifetime access to the membership. You know, so if you've been on the membership, uh, premium membership, Live Off Beach, you won't have to make any more payments. You'll get lifetime uh, access to that. Um, you'll also get, you know, we got some drum loops for you. You know, uh, we got some drums for you and, and, and some things that, you know, as bonuses, you know what I mean? It, those are just, like I said, those are bonuses. The real thing is, you know, this mentorship that you're going to get, you know, you're going to get a full blueprint documents laid out. You're going to talk to me. I'm going to really look at your music production business. And like I said, man, just look at the numbers, man. Let's just say that, you know, let's say I get you to eat into a measly two thousand a month. Let's say you follow what I say and you make two thousand a month in beat sales, man. Listen, in, in, in one year, that's twenty four thousand dollars, man, that you wouldn't have made before. That's called an investment. All right. And if you go to any accountant and say, hey, man, I got it. I got it. This is how much I got to invest. The guy's saying this. Is, but I, if I make twenty four thousand dollars back, you know what I'm saying? Is that a good investment? You're going to say, are you crazy? That's a thousand percent return. You ain't never going to get that nowhere else. You better jump on that. Even if you just made an extra, let's say everything failed and you only made an extra $300 a month from what I'm saying, a month. In, 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 in two months, you done made your money back. In 12 months, you done made, what, eight times your money? Now go to an accountant and say, hey, man, if I invest this amount, I made eight times my money this year. Is this a good investment? He's going to say, are you out of your mind? You better go jump on that. You can't get that in the stock market nowhere. And you got your own business. You got your own clientele. You got you doing what you love to do. I mean, it's so much more than just the money aspect, right? That's one part of it. But the main aspect is, one, you can quit working that fucking job. But two, you know, you, your energy is going towards something you love. So you get to wake up inspired, not wake up feeling like, oh, man, another day and all that type of shit you wake up feeling. You know, if you're not waking up inspired, can't wait to go do what you do, then that's because you're not doing something that you love. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not doing your gift. That's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. So, anyways, click down there. Um, I'll work with you. And I'm going to show you how to get that bread just from a laptop.